the other uh, pretty much related thing through an array is uh, the tuple data type. Now, tuple is something that uh, does exist in many languages. Uh, technically speaking, what a tuple is that, uh, you know, in JavaScript, you can write things like this. You can write let uh, a comma b uh, equal to um, one, uh, one comma two. Okay. Um, so that's like how you define a tuple. And uh, if you you know, uh, if you write like console.log uh, a after this, and if you write console.log uh, b after this, and uh, if you, you know, uh, open your uh, console here, right, and we'll just remove all that stuff, and if you run the code, you see uh, one and two gets printed. So that's like a tuple. And uh, like if you do uh, let um, c comma d, uh, equal to uh, a comma b okay um, uh, you can then write you know uh, if you just run it here and then if you try to print the value of c uh, sorry you'll have to write console.log here sorry so uh, console.log uh, c if you do you know so that's basically the concept of tuples is that you can create a set of two variables or three variables you know you can just make more of them right uh, and all of them need not be of the same data type uh, so you can create like this abc and then you can do console.log uh, and you can basically print you know this array if you want to uh, print that and uh, yep so there we go one two if you see like that in fact uh, the common way of swapping numbers uh, you can actually do let uh, b comma a uh, equal to a comma b like this uh, and uh, in fact like if you have uh, let a uh, equal to say some number let uh, b equal to some other number then you can write something like this as well you can write uh, a comma b equal to b comma a that's another way of swapping numbers as well but uh, so that's not what we are uh, so yeah you need the semicolons here just to make sure that it's considered as a separate line in this case and then if you do uh, console.log b uh, here so this could be a string as well okay uh, so if if this is a string then you would have a problem because you can't set a number to a string and you can't set a string to a number but uh, so basically i'm just showing you the power of tuples is that you can switch over things like this so there's something people who might be coming from the you know um, javascript uh, python world would feel very comfortable with the concept of tuples now with tuples the thing is that you can set the data type uh, to you know uh, tell that you know if i create this you know tuple which uh, is of data type uh, number uh, string boolean number uh, okay so then uh, if i try to you know create this tuple uh, tup equal to and i create an array so in the first position i have to put in a number the second position i will have to put a string in the third position i will have to put a boolean and in the fourth position i will have to put a number again okay and if i don't you know follow this principle if i try to put a string in the first place i will get an error that the first position was supposed to be a number okay so basically this is a heterogeneous array uh, okay, a tuple, you can think of it as a heterogeneous array, um, but uh, with a data type specified for each slot. Okay, so this is this tuple has uh, it specified that the first slot must have a number, the second slot must have a string, the third slot must have a boolean, and the fourth slot must have a number. So it's uh, kind of like a you know class which has four variables or four data types. But those variables don't have any names okay it's just the position the first item is number the second item is string it's just the order of them okay so there are a lot of ways you can visualize a tuple you can think of it as a class with four fields and the four fields are just zero one two three uh, they, are, they don't have any names or you can think of tuple as an array which is heterogeneous in nature so each of those uh, slots can have different data types but the data types are fixed so the first one has to have a number all the time okay so that's tuples okay and you can create tuples like this and you can set the data type for tuples uh, like this okay so yeah
that's how you create tuples in uh, TypeScript.